Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by completing the square. So let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing we want to make sure that only x variables are on the left hand side. That means this constant negative 3 must go on the right hand side. So we can write like 8x squared minus 7x is going to be on the left hand side and on the right hand side negative 5 when we move this negative 3 that is going to become positive 3 so we got 8x square minus 7x equals to negative 2 on the right hand side our next step is to make sure that our leading coefficient the coefficient of x square must be 1. So in order to make this one 1, we have to divide this 8 by 8. If we divide this one by 8, we have to divide it across the board each and every term. All right. So this simply is going to become 1x square negative 7 over 8x equals to this reduces to negative 1 over 4. So far so good. Now here is the next step. Let's focus on the middle number over here, the coefficient of x. We are going to look at only 7 over 8. Don't worry about this negative sign. Okay, so I am going to write down 7 over 8 somewhere here on this side we must divide this number always by 2. 2 could be written as 2 over 1, isn't it? So now I can write 7 over 8. If I flip this thing over, that's going to become multiplied by 1 over 2. So this could be written as 7 over 16. And the last step is whatever we got this thing we must square it all right we are going to square this thing whatever we got this number we are going to add on both sides of this equation so let's go ahead and do that one over here i'm going to write down x square minus 7 over 8x plus and I'm going to put a space over here and then negative 1 over 4 plus. All right. And the next thing what we are going to do is I'm going to add 7 over 16 square on this side and 7 over 16 squared on this side as well. And as you can see, the left hand side, this part, this represents a perfect square. So by using this fact, a minus b squared equals to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, I can write this left hand side as a perfect square of x minus 7 over 16 square. All right. And on the right hand side, that is going to become negative 1 over 4 plus 7 over 16 squared is going to become 49 over 256. And now let's focus on the right hand side, these fractions. I have copied it down on the right hand side, as you can see. Let's go ahead and simplify these fractions. Let me show you an easy way. Let's crisscross, cross multiply this one over here. So negative one times 256 is going to become negative 256. And whatever this sign plus is, just write it down over here. Let's cross multiply the other way around. Four times 49 is going to give us 196. And we are going to multiply the denominator is 4 times 2, 56. When we multiply them, we are going to get 
10, 20, 4. So far so good. Let's simplify them. That is going to become uh, negative 60 on the top divided by 10, 24 at the denominator. And as you can see that these both numbers could be divisible by 4, isn't it? So go ahead and take care of that thing. I'm going to divide both by 4. So we got our reduced answer as negative 15 over 256. That is our reduced part. So the left hand side I can write x minus 7 over 16 that is going to stay same and this right hand side we have uh, added these fractions and our simplified answer is negative 15 divided by 256 and the next step is we are going to undo this square we want to get rid of this square so we are going to take the square root on both sides so as you can see this square and square root they are gone so we ended up with x minus 7 over 16 equals to positive or negative I can write this thing square root of negative 15 on the top and I'm going to split it up and the denominator becomes square root of 256. And since we are running out of the space on the left hand side, I am going to move to the right and this x minus 7 over 16 equals to positive or negative and over here whenever you have a negative sign inside the radical that becomes an imaginary number so we can write this the numerator part as i times square root of 15 divided by the square root of 256 which is a perfect square is going to become 16. Once again, remember that i is an imaginary number. Some people call, call it i, some people call it iota. All right. And now we are going to move this negative 7 over 16 on the right hand side. We want to isolate x. So x is going to be equal to this negative 7 over 16 is going to become positive 7 over 16 plus minus i times square root of 15 divided by 16. And here I am going to split these numbers, these signs, positive and negative along these signs. So the very first number is going to become x equal to 7 over 16 plus i times square root of 15 divided by 16 and the other solution is going to be 7 over 16 minus i times square root of 15 over 16 once again one with a positive sign and one with the negative sign and thus here is our solution set with these solutions as you can see and since we are dealing with these imaginary numbers that means our solution is going to be in terms of complex numbers or sometimes we call it imaginary numbers so that's the reason why it is not a real solution just keep in your mind it is not a real solution thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye